Shalom, giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachaha Korash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutation as always to the elect. Starting with the Tabernacle of David, the 144,000, as well as the large multitude, the rest of the men, women, and children whom the Lord will have mercy on at the time of his second coming. All right, in which he will not meet this world as a man. All right, and uh, according to biblical prophecy, uh, the return of the Lord, the return of the Messiah, all right, will be, all right, through him returning to an Edomite ruled, all right, power structure known as Babylon the Great. And that's what I wanted to briefly get into uh, in response to this video re uploaded by the Elder Apostle Tahar, all right, done by uh, Elder Manata Zakba, all right, out of South Carolina. All right, and in his video, he's uh, showing a back and forth that he's uh, having with a Christian, you know, because these Christians watch our videos and some of them get bold enough, you know, to try to find particular camps and come challenge them. But if you notice what Christians do is they try to continuously throw out these terms racist, you know, uh, that we're hateful and they try to keep everything at a carnal level. You know, here it is. We try to go into biblical prophecy. OK, and and and. You know hash things out but they continuously talk about you know there's no scientific way we can you know say that the so-called white man is esau all right and all of these various different things that have nothing to do with anything all right because we don't need science to prove that you so-called white people are the edomites all right all we have to do is use biblical prophecy all right and and, and, and surely it's linked to you edomites all right even going back to the blessing that was given unto Esau, that he would rule the fat, have the uh, fatness of the earth. Okay, that he would rule by the sword. Okay, there, there's never been a nation that had this much power. Okay, and as we know, according to the scriptures, let's go to Daniel, the uh, fourth chapter. Okay, Daniel, the fourth chapter. Uh, let's see, Daniel four and seventeen. It says, this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will. And he set it over it, the basis of men. OK, he, he, the Lord has given all of the king, the, the, the heathens, their rulerships in their uh, kingdoms, man. OK. And this is how we can tell who the Edomite is, because what we'll show you is that according to biblical prophecy, the Edomites would be ruling in the latter days. They would rule this system known as the daughter of Babylon, Babylon the Great. OK, and we also know that Esau Edom. In Genesis 27. OK. Genesis chapter 27. In 39 when Esau received his blessing what was it okay as the scriptures say by faith all right Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come so this blessing that we're reading about here is something that would eventually come all right so so here's the here's the question when you read verse 39 it says and Isaac his father answered and said unto him behold thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above Okay, meaning you would have control, complete control of the planet Earth and its resources, man. And how would you get that? And by thy sword shall thou live. Okay, and it says, and thou shalt serve thy brother, which he did through, uh, you know, when King David received his throne. Okay, and the 40 years of peace under King Solomon. And it shall come to pass when, that, when thou shalt have the dominion. And this is speaking of Esau's dominion, which... When you look up this word dominion, okay, it's rawat, okay, rawat to wander restlessly, all right, meaning he would be all over the place. He would roam all throughout the four corners of the earth using that sword, all right, to take people's resources and possess dwelling places that are not his, okay? And he would, uh, you know, have the dominion and thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. Now that happened at the time of King David. All right, but that also happened at the time of the Renaissance period. All right, when after the a thousand year period, Satan was loosed from his uh, prison. 
Okay, and what did he do? He went throughout the four corners of the earth to deceive them and lead the world into what is known as Armageddon, and which that's where we're at right now. Okay, but but our question is when you know because a lot of these Christians love to throw out the 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 you know narrative that well the Edomites are done away with, you know which they can never tell us when. But but if the Edomites were done away with, when was this blessing fulfilled? Okay, when when was when did the Edomites have the fatness of the earth? Because no nation outside of Jacob and Esau was promised full control of the earth. Okay, so when did this happen? Okay, another thing to keep in mind. Okay, in Esau, Edom, the so-called white race through the beast system has control of the earth, man. All right, now their control is based on carnality, bloodshed, deception. All right, so they're losing their grip, but they have the fatness of the earth in their hands, man, through their wicked, all right, policy, which is contrary to the laws of the Most High, which is why the earth is in a very destructive state. Now, when you get the book of Obadiah, okay, <clears throat> when you get the book of Obadiah, okay, and you can read this whole chapter on your own, but when you get the final verse, the thing that we want to keep understanding of is when you read Obadiah 1 and 21, it says, and Savior shall come up, all right, on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. Okay, so another thing to keep in mind is that in order for the kingdom of heaven to be set up, the Mount of Esau has to be judged, showing you that that nation is still here. Okay, that nation is still here and they would be in rulership at the time, all right, that the heavenly father sent his only begotten son, Hamashiach Yahawashai, okay, which is why when you read Isaiah 63, and we'll get back to that video because I wanted to play a little bit of what the uh, elder, you know, said in that video during that back and forth, but this is Isaiah 63. Now, using, you know, if you understand the Bible, you know, for you brothers and sisters that are just now coming in, you know, what major event or what kingdom has to be destroyed in order for the kingdom of heaven to be set up okay and if you don't know all right look no further than revelation the 18th chapter okay revelation the 18th chapter and various other places in the scriptures lets us know that a spiritual babylon the great would have to be destroyed okay which did all of these marvelous things and witchcraft you know the blood of the saints meaning they took down the israelites wore out the saints and did all of these 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 things all right in preparation for their judgment would have to be judged and destroyed okay in order for the kingdom of heaven to be set up so when you read revelation 18 it goes into that and then what happens in the next chapter revelation 19 and one says and after these things i heard a great uh, voice of much people in heaven saying hallelujah salvation and glory and honor and power unto the lord our god it says for true and righteous are his judgments for he have judged the great whore now who's that great whore babylon it says which did corrupt the earth with her fornication and hath avenged the blood of his servants at our hand okay as the scriptures say he that leadeth into captivity will go into captivity all right and i said again and said and again they said hallelujah all right uh and her smoke rose up forever okay so this has to happen in order for the kingdom of heaven to be set up okay now just as egypt was a power structure there was a nation of people that ran the 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 the, the uh empire okay and they were the seed of ham those were a nation of people they were a race of people so it's no different than this babylon the great that we read about man there's a particular nation that runs this Babylon the Great, okay? And what we're going to go do is go into biblical prophecy and show you that it's the Edomites. We don't need all of these, you know, fantastic and spectacular words to, to, to show you that the people who are ruling the earth are the Edomites. All we have to do is use common sense or good sense, all right, in biblical prophecy, you see, and, and, and see, you devils are scared because you hear these videos and you, you're all messed up in the head and you try to come, you know, uh, deal with us, but you you screaming out love and that we're hateful and that we're racist, but all we're doing is reading biblical prophecy. The Bible has always been about, all right, 
different nationalities ruling over the Lord's people and the Lord delivering them out of their hands. How much more now at the end? And we're going to show you according to biblical prophecy that you people are being confounded. And that's why you're hurt. Because the truth of the Bible is coming out in Christianity, which is full of cunningly devised fables, is being trumped down. Okay, like like you, you guys teach that, you know, Eve came out of an actual rib of Adam and then Adam had sex with his with his own rib to bring forth Cain and Abel. How does that work? You know, the, the serpent is an actual snake who gave uh, Eve an apple. You know, God loves everybody after you read about the throne of David and you see the various things that happen. You know, you guys try to take the Israelites out of the, the, the narrative. OK, you only want to deal with Abraham and you try to equate, you know, the, the, the blessing and the faith to all nations omitting. OK, uh, 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 Isaac and Jacob, who also received the promise and Jacob had the 12 patriarchs, which were heirs to that promise. And there's a remnant of them in the latter days that 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 will um, through faith be brought back to the heavenly father through faith in his son, Yahweh Shai, the Gentiles. You see, y'all don't want to deal with those things, man. Therefore, you're hurt. Okay, this is Isaiah 63 and 1. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? That is glorious in his apparel. Okay, which are those chariots traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness mighty to save. You see that? Who is this that cometh from Edom? All right. Who is this that cometh from Edom? Okay, why is Edom always mentioned in end time prophecy? Why is Babylon the Great always mentioned in end time prophecy? Because Esau Edom controls and runs, all right, the daughter of Babylon, which ought to be destroyed. Okay? <laughs> Who, wherefore art thou red in thine apparel and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? And this can be directly, all right, linked to Revelation 19th chapter telling you that the Lord is going to come back and smite the heathen. Okay, and the top nation on his list are the Edomites because they will be the ones who are in rulership when he returns. Okay, so the, 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 the crazy part is you have a lot of Christians and a lot of people who understand and know that America is Babylon the Great, right? But then once you start going into biblical prophecy and saying, well, you know, linking Esau to him, they don't want nothing to do with it. You remember there was a point where the so-called white people took pride in the Greeks and the Romans, but you you don't you see they're trying to hide from that now because we showed you that the Greeks and the Romans were Edomites. We've used the Bible to prove these things and show you these things. Now all of a sudden, race doesn't matter, and you know this and that. Nations have always mattered. You see through pseudoscience, okay, and all of these different. Uh, 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 cunningly devised fables you've been able to hide from the true narrative of the Bible but see the Holy Spirit and the prophets all right under Yahweh Shah are gonna have the last laugh man and that's what's happening and you guys are coming up screaming and crying leaving these long comments talking about we're hateful and you think that's not gonna work okay that's not gonna work man and now you have a bunch of these Christians starting to say well America is not in the Bible which this is an article Okay, that was sent, and Lord will, I'll do a, a separate lesson on this. But now the devil is saying, Well, America is not in the Bible in no shape, form, not a hint, not a whiff. America is not in the Bible, not even here. You see that? <laughs> no, nowhere is America in the Bible. But when you read Daniel, the seventh chapter, it speaks of the major empires of the earth and it speaks of the fourth beast. But it also speaks of another little horn that came from that beast, which was the revival of the ancient Roman Empire. Is not this the revival of the ancient Roman Empire? When you look at its laws, its ways, okay, and, and everything else that comes with it, the customs. You see, but now you all trying to run from that narrative that we're linking it all to biblical prophecy. See, now the tune is changing. You, 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 you know, in times past, you had a lot of you know, Edomite Americans who were in agreement that America was even Babylon. But you see them trying to run from that now that we're leaking the biblical Edomites to that kingdom. Now, go on to this video, 
we're gonna play a piece of it and get into some more scriptures all right so that uh we can get understanding man because <clears throat> all we've been over this, all this stuff this proves you are devils and then i hit it with more uh scriptures i said you're guilty so then this is what he says he said you can't prove esau is white without twisting scripture or giving some non-scientific answer from genetics that makes no sense and that's the whole thing they want you to prove on a carnal level that they're esau like like the bible doesn't have prophecy in it the most High didn't leave us a way that we would know who was who right end time prophecy doesn't mean anything if you can't prove according to the skin color how esau is white then he ain't even white and it's, it's completely stupid because the most high deals with nations he deals with nations he deals with uh, uh you know prophecy and he set up kingdoms and rulerships so this is how we know who's who now i came back and answered him you know he of course he just did a lot of talking you know you know just i, I, I and as you read in that he, he he uh this dude whoever he's talking to ac vohm um he said that's why a lot of people are leaving your camps well, people left Yahawashai. But there's a mass exodus of people leaving Christianity. That's the common tune now. People are waking up to the fact all over the world, all right, to the fact that Christianity is absolutely stupidity. It doesn't deal with reality. Okay? And we, we do teach that it's not about skin color. Now, skin tone is an indicator, but ultimately we teach, which is a jab you can't get around. That's why they don't ever bring it up. We teach that... You're going to have Israelites who look like so-called white people, who look like so-called Chinese, who look like Hamites, who look like other nations. But through their spirit, they're going to be drawn to this word, man. You see, but they don't want to deal with that because they're trying to keep it at a carnal level so that they can make carnal arguments. We're not dealing with carnal carnality. The flesh profited nothing. We know that you so-called white people are the Edomites all right due to biblical prophecy man okay which you don't want to deal with you act like it doesn't even exist Any concerned with all that i said end time prophecy proves you are esau then i hit him with a, a few scriptures which we're going to read and i said the fourth beast daniel saw is the roman empire and the romans come from esau you're done right watch what he says he came back he didn't answer any descriptions that I posted. Nope. He says, oh, yeah, and Abraham was a, a so-called black man. And then Isaac is... You see that? They want to they wanna deal with all of these mental mind games and all of this. Well, yeah, <laughs> Abraham was a black man. And then Isaac was as well. But Jacob and Esau was... And all of these... All, all of this bullshit. That's all they want to do is sit and play games, man. They don't want to deal with the nitty gritty of prophecy, which cuts all of, of everything they're talking about. But we're going to stick to the script. We're going to stick to the prophecies, man. And the prophecies are going to knock you out of the ring, Jack. <laughs> well, and Jacob, Esau's twin, was a so-called black man, according to you. So how is Esau white again? LOL. See, he completely just wrote off the scriptures. Then he goes... So one of his stupid arguments and Esau married two Ishmaelites that came from Abraham and, and the reason Esau kept that skin tone is because that was a mark from the Heavenly Father placed upon him he could never escape that okay that's who he is see the Heavenly Father is in full control man okay was not the Lord able to keep the seed of uh, Gehazi leprous throughout all generations now what if one of the Gehazi seed tried to change that by sleeping with all dark-skinned African Hamite women would he be able to change that no okay but either way it goes as the elder is bringing out they don't want to deal with biblical prophecy they don't want to deal with Daniel's vision they don't want to deal with anything they want to deal with carnality and arguments that hurt their soul you see they want to try to keep it at a black white you know which is which, which, which those terms and all of that stuff is things that their uh, uh, ancient forefathers made up. Linnaeus and all of these Darwin and all of these uh, 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 drug coked up Edomites use. We deal with biblical prophecy according to the nations, the 18 nations that the Lord created that came out of Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Okay, out of those 18 nations, 
only one was chosen, and that's the Israelites, man. All right, but before that, he would give, all right, as we read in Daniel, he would give particular nations rulership and dominion over the planet Earth for particular times, man. And the nation who he gave dominion over the planet Earth before he sent his only begotten son would be the Edomites. Point blank, period. Let's stick to that. Are we at the end? Is this the end? Okay, well, if this is the end, then Esau should be in power. Are we in Babylon the Great? If, if you say no, then this kingdom has to fall and then Babylon the Great has to be raised up. You see, these are the things that they don't want to deal with. Okay, we are at the end. Okay, the world, according to biblical prophecy, we're right there at the end of this thing. If that is true, which we believe it is true through faith and through prophecy, then Esau has to be ruling the earth. Point blank, period. And who rules the earth? It's not the Arabs. Nowhere in prophecy do you see Japhet ruling the earth at the end or having a major empire. So, 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 so that only leaves it to you Edomites, man. The so-called white man who has been a plague to the nations, a plague to the earth, a plague to the animals, a plague to the air, a plague to children's uh, 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 rectums. He's a pedophile. He's a drug dealer. He's a drug user. He's everything wrong with the planet Earth, man. But this was prophesied that this would happen. Second Edra 6 and 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. And Jacob is an Israelite. And the way that, that's, that that kingdom would be set up on the earth was through the throne of David with the Messiah sitting on that throne, man. And you heathen will be subdued. Okay, now let's go to Daniel, the seventh chapter. Okay. When you read this chapter, it speaks of four great beasts that come up from the sea, which are the people, and they will be diverse from one another. The first is the Assyrian Babylonian Empire. The second is the Medio Persian Empire. The third is the Greek Empire. The fourth is the Roman Empire. Now, if we're wrong, Tell us what it is. Let's stop talking about these these little minute, uh, 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 you know, mind game arguments, and let's deal with what is. Okay, all you want to do is sit and argue because white. I mean, because I'm white, I'm evil. No, 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 no. Let's deal with what the Bible says. Okay, verse seven. After this, I saw in the night visions, and behold, a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible. Okay, and exceeding strong exceedingly and had great iron teeth, their army, this is speaking of the Roman Empire, and devoured and break in pieces and stamped the uh, the residue with the feet of it. And it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it. Because what? They had that Senate, okay, in which the, the, the rulerships before the throne was passed from father to son. All right, but they had a Senate to where they voted in a ruler, which is you see that system in place today. Okay, it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it, and it had ten horns, which are the uh, the the vassal states of the ancient Roman Empire, man. Point blank, period. Okay, and it says, and today that would be Belgium, France, the Netherlands, Italy, Germany, Luxembourg, Denmark, Ireland, Greece, Spanish, and Portugal, man. Back then you had the uh, Lombards, the uh, the Vandals, the Visigoths. All right, and so the Suevis and so forth, man. Those were the vassal states of the Roman Empire, which formed what? The beast. Okay? Gave them great power, man. Okay? Military might and so forth. Riches. And they control great re a great uh, uh, a portion of the earth through their military might, man. And through those ten horns, all right? And the whore at that time was the ancient Roman Empire. The whore at this time is Babylon the Great. That ride at the beast, man. Okay, it says, and I considered the horns, and behold, there came up among them another little horn. All right, before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots. So this little horn that came up from the fourth beast is speaking of America, Babylon the Great. And how do we know this? Let's keep reading. 
<laughs> before whom the th- three fir- three first uh, were plucked up by the roots, which you had the uh, the uh, revolutionary wars, man, the 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 Spanish, the French, and the British. Okay, and who came out of the British? This little horn, America, Babylon the Great, man. Okay, and behold, in this horn were the eyes of a man, and they mouth speaketh great things because the power that they would be given through their science and through their witchcraft, they would speak great things and exalt themselves as gods on earth, even to the point where they're planning on putting a chip inside of you, but through lies, through pseudoscience. All right, they threw out the truth of the Bible and ran their kingdom based upon witchcraft, science, and Satanism. Okay? Now, when you read down verse 9, what does it say? And I beheld to the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit. So this means that what? The end is going to come through this little horn, all right, that came from this fourth beast. Okay? which would let you know that this little horn would have to be Babylon the Great. Because the, once Babylon the Great is judged, okay, then the kingdom of heaven would come. So let's read and see if that's the same narrative of what happens with this fourth beast once it's destroyed, man. Okay, let's read it again. And I beheld to the thrones were cast down in the ancient of days, which is the most high. Okay, he's before days. He's not based upon time. Did sit. Okay, whose garment was white as snow and the hairs of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame and his wheels as a, as a burning fire. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousands ministered unto him and 10,000 times 10,000 stood before him and judgment was set and the books were open. So judgment is coming, all right, through this fourth beast in that little horn which which uh basically came forth of that which would be the revival of the fourth beast man all right let's get a precept in the book of uh second Ezra's second Ezra's the 11th chapter and i'll start at verse 38 hear thou and i will talk with thee and the highest shall say unto thee, Are thou not it that remainest of the four beasts whom I made to reign in my world? Okay. That the end of their times might come through them. You <laughs> see, the end is going to come through them. And what did we read? Esau is the end of the world. Okay. Just as Babylon is the end of the world, Esau is the end of the world. So by default, Esau runs what is known as Babylon the Great in the Holy Scriptures. And Babylon the Great is America. Who runs America? Who runs this beast system that, that, that's plaguing the earth? Let's, let's, not, let's not run from the truth here. And the fourth came and overcame all the beasts that were uh, past and had power over the world with great fearfulness and over the whole compass of the earth. Now, the Roman Empire territory... Okay, let's look it up. <laughs> Antipater the Idumean. Yeah, I have I have him pulled up because the Herodian dynasty, which were of the Roman Empire, okay, were fathered by who? Antipater the Idumean, man. And when you look at his picture, okay, who <clears throat> who does he look like today? He looks like a so-called white man. Okay, the the Edomites were never destroyed. The the Romans. And the Greeks were never obliterated as a nation, man. Wow, video I did pulled up. It's crazy. All right. But um, what I wanted to look up. Let's see, where was I? Oh, the, uh, the territory of the ancient Roman Empire. The ancient Rome territory map. So this is all ancient Rome. All right, uh, pretty much had dominion over, right? We could see it, you know. They had certain parts, you know, even of Africa, you know. But what we just read here is that this fourth beast, all right, would have power over the whole compass of the earth, meaning that is the fulfillment of Esau's blessing, having the fatness of the earth. 
all right through the sword okay now that would be through this other little horn all right whom the three were plucked up all right and then the lord returns okay that's how they would uh, uh have the fatness of the earth man okay so let's read this again and the fourth came and overcame all the, uh, the beasts that were passed and had power over the world with much all right great fearfulness and over the whole compass of the earth with much wicked oppression and so long time they dwelt upon the earth with deceit for the earth has thou not judged with truth for thou has afflicted the meek as the scriptures say uh they wore out the saints all right that's in daniel the seventh chapter we'll get that thou has hurt the peaceable okay thou has loved liars everything here is based upon a lie liars get uplifted your murderers get you know hugs in court this is satan's kingdom man the and the and destroyed the dwellings of them that brought forth fruit and have cast down the walls of such as did thee no harm man you see that's esau's mo when when he, when when christopher columbus came over here he said the native americans were so nice that they can you know all it would take was a mutt and they can subdue the whole land man or or a short uh, amount of time man they scoffed at how nice they were man the native americans didn't do them no harm okay but what did they do they destroyed them and then they celebrate this nigga man therefore is thy wrongful dealing come up unto the highest and thy pride unto the mighty okay the highest have also looked upon the proud times and behold they are ended and his abominations fulfilled and there appear no more thou eagle which esau is tied to the eagle doesn't the scripture say he exalted himself as the eagle <laughs> is not esau synonymous with the eagle in scripture in the book of obadiah didn't it say he exalted himself as the eagle is that not the 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 was that not the sign of the ancient roman empire the greeks hitler's uh, little kingdom you know what weren't they all boasting themselves with the emblem of the eagle america okay nor thy horrible wings nor thy wicked feathers which are your rulers nor thy malicious heads nor thy hurtful claws nor all thy vain body because you're going to be destroyed that all the earth may be refreshed and may return being delivered from thy violence that she may hope for the judgment and mercy of him that made her so the mercy of the israelites of the earth itself is going to come through the destruction of this fourth beast which we're right there according to biblical prophecy man okay so going back to daniel the seventh chapter okay when the ancient of days came okay it says in judgment was set and the books were open man in verse 11 and i beheld then because of the voice of the great words which the horn spake so now he's going back seeing america and its rulership this the, the that little horn that came out of the fourth beast which you can read that narrative in revelation the 13th chapter how that you know out of the beast another little uh, another beast raised up who had two horns like a lamb but spake as a dragon that's babylon the great america man okay this is the same narrative revelation 17 the eighth was of the seven okay so this great horn this this little horn he's watching is the rulership that we're living in okay and i beheld then even because of the voice of the great words which the horn spake pseudoscience lies satanism atheism transgenderism all of the isms and i beheld till the beast was slain and his body destroyed and given to the burning flame you see that and concerning the rest of the beast they had their dominion taken away yet their lives were prolonged for a season and a time man because after the a thousand year period all right the, the the rest of the heathen will be able to live but esau edom will be absolutely obliterated man and I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man, Yahawashai. Okay, so the return of the Messiah is synonymous with the little horn that came out of the fourth beast, man. That's what we want to keep understanding of. Now, what is the fourth beast, you damn Christian? Show us. Tell us. You believe in Daniel's prophecy? Okay, there's a nation of people that run this beast. Just like there was a nation of people that ran 
the uh, the Assyrian, Babylonian, the 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 Persian, and the Medes. Those were the particular nations that ran those kingdoms. What nation runs the fourth beast? According to prophecy issue, Edomites, man. Okay. <laughs> And I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven. Now, didn't the scripture say, behold, he cometh with clouds? This is how he's going to return, okay, to take down the rulership of the heathen, mainly the Edomites, man. And came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all the people languishes should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting kingdom which shall not pass away. His kingdom is that which shall not be destroyed man and it's gonna come through what the destruction of that fourth beast man and that little horn that came out from it man okay and as you read down let's see here verse 19 well 17 these are uh, great beasts which are four and for, which which are four are four kings which shall arise out of the earth Okay, but the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever and forever and ever, man. Okay, this is what Christians don't want to deal with. They talk about the kingdom of heaven and God's kingdom, but how is it going to be established? Okay, what, 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 in what fashion, what's going to happen in order for it to be established? Then I would know the truth of the fourth beast, which was diverse from all the others, exceeding dreadful, whose teeth were of iron. His nails of brass was devoured and break in pieces and stabbed the residue with his feet. Okay, and then, and then it goes on and on, man. Verse 21. I beheld in the same horn made war with the saints. And was not war made with you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans through this, this devil? The, 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 the current rulership uh, now, where, how did it get to where it is? Through the destruction of you Israelites, man. He prevailed against you, man. Until the ancient of days came and judgment was given to the saints of the most high and, a, and the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom, man. Okay? So this fourth beast is how the, the kingdom of heaven will be set up, man. Which, if we're, if, we're, if we're eliminating all bullshit, let's be real. We're, we're in that fourth beast in that little horn. Okay? The Roman Empire. Okay, this is the, the revised Roman Empire, man. Okay, and that is known as Babylon the Great in prophecy, man. The daughter of Babylon now. <clears throat> Let's get Jeremiah 49. So all you got to do is be real with yourself, man. But y'all don't want to be real. Y'all just mad that it's us that's bringing this truth out. This devil has destroyed every damn thing. And here we come prophesying his downfall and that he's going to pay for it. And that we're going to eventually rule and you get mad, man. <laughs> oh, man. Jeremiah 49 and 16. Thy terribleness have deceived thee in the pride of thine heart, O that that dwelleth in the cleft of the rocks. Which that, this can be directly linked to what? Obadiah. That holdest the height of the hill, though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle, I will bring thee down from thence, saith the Lord. It says, Also Edom shall be a desolation, and everyone that goeth by shall be astonished and shall hiss at the plagues thereof. Edom shall be a desolation. Now, according to the scriptures, what kingdom is going to be a desolation forever and ever and ever, man? Let's get Isaiah 13. Isaiah 13 and 19. And Babylon the great, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency, shall be as when God overthrew the Sodom and Gomorrah. All right, now the, the Chaldees, all right, were the witches and warlocks of the ancient, the, the Neo-Babylonian Empire. But did the Neo-Babylonian Empire, which fell to the Persians and the Medes, did it fall? Was it overthrown as Sodom and Gomorrah with fire? No. So this is symbolic of this rulership, man. Okay, and when you read Isaiah 47, it says the daughter of the Chaldees. Okay, so you have to know how to link biblical prophecy, man. This is why you should listen to us, man. 
Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, start with the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. We're the ones breaking this book down, all right, in its in its proper context, in its entirety, not leaving things out, not uh, bringing it out for for uh, smooth things to make people happy, man. We bring it out as it is written, man. Babylon the Great, the glory of kingdom, the beauty of the Chaldeans, which the modern day Chaldeans are who? The Edomites, the the Rothschilds, the the you know the the priesthood of this world okay shall be as when god overthrew sodom and gomorrah it shall never be inhabited again now is ancient iraq which was the babylon where the uh, the ancient babylon is is that still being inhabited absolutely esau's over there wreaking havoc as we speak okay <laughs> neither shall it be dwelt there from generation to generation neither shall the arabian pitch tent there neither shall the shepherds make their fold there man but the wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and the satire shall dance there. And the wild beasts of the islands shall cry there in their desolate houses, all right, and dragons, all right, uh, in their pleasant palaces. And what could this be linked to? Revelation 18, man. Revelation 18, all right, and two, and he cried mightily with a strong voice, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, is become the habitation of devils and every foul spirit and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. And for you Christians who say there's no longer anything unclean, why are these birds going to be called unclean? But anyway, that is linked directly to the name Esau Edom. That's the point. Okay, also in Jeremiah 50, because it is it is it is written that Babylon the Great is going to be totally decimated and no longer inhabited. Okay? Showing you that that hasn't happened yet, but that's going to happen to this place, man. Jeremiah 50 and I believe let's start at 23. Uh How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations, man? This hasn't happened yet. Okay, I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken. Okay, O Babylon, thou was not aware. And this can be linked to the book of Obadiah, man. The book of Obadiah 1 and 7. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee, and there is none understanding in him. So he doesn't even understand that he's being set up for his demise. He's just engulfed in his pride, man. But 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 we we don't do we need to use skin tone to 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 bring out who this is talking about? No, we're just going through the prophecies, man. It's so much more. It's so much more, man. Okay. Um. Let's see here. Verse thirty-nine. Therefore, the wild beasts of the desert. With the wild beasts of the island shall dwell there, and the owl shall dwell therein, and it shall no longer be inhabited forever, neither shall it be dwelt from the, from generation to generation. As God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, and the neighboring cities thereof, saith the Lord, shall no man abide there, neither shall any son of man dwell there. You see that? But it just linked that same judgment to Esau Edom, man. Okay? It just linked that same judgment to Esau Edom, man. All right, Isaiah 34. <laughs> oh, man. And five, for my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia, Esau, Edom, upon the people of my curse to judgment, man. Okay? And this is, this is synonymous with what? Verse eight, for it is the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of the recompense of the controversy of Zion, man. And it's so much more, man. Okay, it shall not, verse 10, it shall not be quenched day nor night. The smoke thereof shall go up forever. From generation to generation it shall lie waste. None shall pass through it forever and ever. That's linked to you Edomites. So if we're looking at the world today and we're, we're going by Daniel's vision, clearly we can see that that fourth beast and that little horn is how this this whole thing will be ended and the kingdom of heaven will be set up but there's a process to that there's a nation that's tied to that man so you edomites 
And man, there's so much more we can go into. I wasn't even finished, man. I mean, Psalms 137. There's even more and we'll, the the scriptures we were even going into. But I just wanted to bring that out real quick. We don't need, okay, these this this pseudoscience you've created to 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 link you to the biblical Edomites. Your hatred for us, okay, how you've absolutely decimated the Native Americans, the so-called Negroes. This whole court system and how it's set up to, to just destroy us. Okay, the, the history of what you've done unto us goes back to the hatred and fight that was going on in the womb, man. Okay, America, us coming over here into captivity, that's linked to biblical prophecy, man. The spiritual Egypt, which is also linked to Esau Edom in the book of Joel, the third chapter, the last three verses, links you Edomites to Egypt. Because Babylon the Great okay is that egypt that we would go into captivity again on ships man okay and there's so much more but through the spirit you know i'm gonna stop there and uh you know lord will if another uh opportunity comes through the spirit we'll we'll go into more prophecy man but end time prophecies is what proves you're the edomites and this is babylon the great okay if you're a a a, a bible believer then you need to be looking at daniel's prophecy and linking it to where you are and according to what daniel wrote we're right there we're at the end man and according if you link everything up the edomites will be in rulership man okay when the lord return who is this that coming from edom man so you can't get away no matter what you do to us no matter how you how mad you get no matter how you try to say we're hateful that is what's written jack shalom